name's Denitza. Recently, I watched the Barbie 2023 trailer, and I've been inspired by the pink buffalo check fabric dress. Absolutely adorable. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find quite enough for me to make a dress or the swimming suit part, but I did find a teal gingham fabric from the Fabric District, and I'm going to design an ensemble for me to wear to the premiere. Uh, here I'm showing you that I'm drawing a dress, the perfect day dress. I will add the peaches at the bottom, but I do end up changing this into a jumpsuit later on. Um, I also use the bodice from this dress and the shorts from this 40s pattern. And here I'm showing you that I laid down the pattern, but I added two inches to the bottom to lengthen the shorts. And then I also have a teapot pin cushion, and I'd like to show you guys. I think it's really cute. Um, it was a free pattern on Pinterest. I was too lazy to go back into the trailer and uh, get my ham. I do have one, but I decided to take one of my bath towels and roll it up into the shape of a ham and press. I got the lower, the bust darts done, and then I also tied off the bust darts, and I got the princess seam darts done. I think I'll probably end up taking the neckline down a bit because I think on me personally I don't like a neckline that's so tall because I like to I like to see my body form but um I think it's a good length for the top and I feel like I added quite a bit to the bottoms so I don't feel so stuffy and short um, today is a new day uh, it is July 4th so very hot in my trailer I sew in a 1966 
aristocrat trailer and uh, when I got it it was completely barren except for the cabinet here and this cabinet here but uh, I stripped it down painted it pink and blue and now it's my sewing trailer I still have to press my darts and I might have to move them over I'm not really happy with but with the uh, darts and how they're sitting it's because I added a couple inches on the side because I have gotten bigger since I last made this pattern and I'm already at the end of the, end of the sizes and measurements but um, so far I'm pretty happy with it and go ahead and uh, attach the lining to this and then do the back part of it and then I might leave it like it's supposed to be a button up on the side of these pants because it's that 40s pattern but you know I think actually I could probably squeeze in a zipper I don't know, we'll see at the end, but this is how far it's going for me. This is inside out. Okay, so I'm getting somewhere with my jumpsuit. Um, I think it's turning out to be really cute. Um, I just put my strap here um, just to show you kind of like, it'll be about, about half that. It won't be quite as thick. And then it's going to tie because I cut four of them. And then I wonder if I can go like this. Okay. See, I kind of like made it a lot smaller. I kind of like beefed it out, beefed it back in, and then I like took some uh, longer pleats here. This is not part of the pattern, but um, last time I made the pattern, I had the same issue where on the side here it would look like like there's too much stuff here going on. So I took out some there, which you know, for any pattern that you make, you should always take out pattern. Um, you know like to adjust it to your size because we're not all the same size and we're all made a little bit different I like how wide the shorts are um, those are those 40 shorts from that pattern and um, I think they're turning out pretty cute and obviously like that's not zipped up and this is still open here but I think it's been really really cute I'm thinking I'm gonna put probably some peaches here at the corner uh, maybe at the corners to kind of like keep it continue con for continu continuity's sake, I think that's how you say that word. And then I might, you know, this is going to be like this. I might take it down and try to swoop it like the Barbie one, but I haven't decided. So now um, I have my straps here, and I'm turning them. I got a. I'm not sure if you call it a loop turner or like a bobkin. I don't think that's the right word for it. Thingamajig. That's another thing. <laughs> but uh, I'm turning this out. And then uh, I redid my darts. I transferred the dart sizes from the lining of the piece to the outer and then so forth. Um, I just need to take it inside because last time I tried to iron inside my trailer there so the wiring is okay in it I checked all that stuff in but it's just like an iron apparently has a lot of uh, power that needs to go through it and um, can be quite a uh, strain on the plug and I just I'm a little afraid because uh, not too long ago like a month or two ago my cord that I plugged in wasn't a new cord, it was actually my father's from when I was younger, and it melted. <laughs> I got a shirt done, um, like a little peasant blouse, and this is the thing, it's got like a little hook at the bottom, it's got a little hook on it, that's what you use to turn it inside out. But the electrical cord that I was using was something that my dad used to use when I was like 10 years old and I'm 30 now so it's obviously had its wear and tear and he used to run electrical equipment on it so I thought it'd be fine but no alas it got too hot and it melted and it like almost um, broke the well it melted the outlet so I actually had a little bit of a scare there and decided to go to Home Depot and purchase a uh, I think it's 16 gauge electrical cord. It's like heavy duty for heavy duty stuff, but um, it was like a hundred and fifty some odd dollars, something like that. But 
honestly, I'd rather have that than to burn my house down or burn my trailer down because I got my special stuff in here, like all my fabric. Not all of it, but most of it. And I got my thread in here and, you know, my machines, obviously. But uh, that's, that's where I sew inside my vintage trailer. And I keep all my things in here. I even got my Cricut inside of the trailer, which is just behind me. I have like a proper place for it, but it's right there. And then I have um, this really cool machine. I really like the way it looks. And then I got my 1915 treadle machine back there. It's a little messy because I've been through going through some pod projects. So I don't know if you can like see this absolutely horrifying uh, peach here, but I I absolutely cannot deal with how sorely horrifying it is. Sorry, honey keeps pop popping up. Um, but uh, I'm searching for a peach to put at the bottom of my pant leg and on top of the scalloped uh, top skirt. I'm gonna put them like maybe every five or six inches, but I'm looking for a peach to put on there. I have some runner-ups, but I had to show the audience the absolutely terrifying peach. So I use embroiderydesigns.com for my um, shopping for embroidery, but uh, I kind of like that one because it reads pretty well. Some of them, this looks kind of like a pumpkin like from Cinderella, which I'm not a big fan of, but I think it's cute because I like the flowers with it. I think it'll read really well with the teal fabric. I like these ones because they're very like... Um, straightforward looks like a peach to me uh, this one's cute too it's on a black background but the leaves are pretty cool on it uh, just like a regular peach this ones are cool but I don't know it's just they kind of look like pumpkins because the viney things this one's probably gonna be the one I go with because it's just three peaches all right next to each other very simple that one's pretty cool so I ended up picking this one. It's a 2.9, let's say 3 by 2.5 size peach. It says I need these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my embroidery stitch uh, collection back there and see what I got. So for the colors, um, it says to get a bell pepper, but it looks like it's just a light green. Which I figured that would, that kind of looks similar, you know, to me. Maybe the colors aren't showing up as good as they could, but I think that the lighter it goes, it might be a little bit prettier. We'll outline it with this darker color. You can see the color difference there. And then the next color is like a peach tea. And I got these three pinks here. Um, I can't really tell, like, which one is supposed to be what, but I'm thinking that the peach tea is going to be this main color so I'm thinking this one for peach tea and then it says lemon chiffon very fancy name but I kind of like this yellow but it also kind of looks orange in the picture so I'm thinking either this one or that one for that color and then it says carrot so if I end up choosing this yellow I'll do this orange with it or I'll do this pink with it and then this will be my brown so we'll see at the end which ones I choose I'm going to try to make it a thing for me that I can only embroider something that's my final project because my jumpsuit is done now um, if I test it first because I've learned the hard way in the last couple times because there's no going back, you know, a lot of stitches to pick. This is my favorite part of embroidery. I don't know about anybody else, but this is like the best. Ta-da! I'm working on the scallops, uh, scallop skirt, 
and I'm putting I think a total of seven peaches along my hem. Um, they take about a few minutes, maybe I would say about like 10 minutes to stitch up every single one of them. But um, I'm putting seven, about 12 inches apart all the way around the skirt. And we'll go from there. So I'm all done with my uh, Barbie plaid uh, inspired outfit. I'm going to go and select some jewelry to make like a cute outfit to put together for the Barbie movie. Okay, so, so far I picked out the shell necklace, the beach earrings, and the...
So I thought this was a cute setting to end my video to my Barbie uh, inspired, peach inspired uh, make. Um, I'm wearing some thrifted and yard sailed and Timu'd jewelry. I got these I think from the dollar store out here and then I got this one I think in the bins or somewhere somewhere particular like that. This one I made especially for this costume following um, I'll insert her name down below I think it's like Anjuri's. She makes a lot of cute uh, hair type products, hair type bows and things like that. Um, I really enjoyed this make. I felt like it really kind of summed up what I wanted as a kid being a Barbie. Uh if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. I look forward to sharing my future makes on this channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day, possibly go out to see the new Barbie movie, and maybe be inspired to make your very own perfect day dress.